Canva recently rolled out a major update for smart mockups. So in this video, I want to cover everything that's new with smart mockups and see what this update is all about. So if you are ready, let's go. All right, let's start by having a little bit of an introduction to what this major update is all about for smart mockups. Let's first mention that Canva acquired the smart mockups team a couple of years back. So basically, the people working at smart mockups work for Canva. Okay, and quite naturally, Canva has decided to try to integrate the smart mockups library and technology more and more with Canva to offer their users a more seamless experience. So this is what I believe this uh, new update is all about. It's about going deeper, offering Canva users more benefits from smart mockup than just the edit app that we had so far and really leveraging the power and the benefits of this entire mockup library, basically opening up the smart mockups library to Canva users and not limit to 100 mockups like they used to in the past or up to today. So that is, in my opinion, the why behind this update. Now, now that we know a little bit of the context, I would like to dive in and give you a tour of what's new with this new smart mockup experience. So the first thing that is new is where Smart Mockup is actually located in Canva. So up to today, Smart Mockups has been buried in the editor under the edit image button when you had an image selected. But this update gives it a much more, I would say, a visible presence in Canva because it is now right here in the left side menu of the homepage. If you scroll down a bit under the tool section, you will see Smart Mockups. So let's click here and see what happens. The first thing I can see here is that I now have an entire page, an entire section of the Canva app dedicated to smart mockups. Just like templates, I can start searching for mockups. And it says here in the search bar, search 8,000 plus mockups. So if I click here, I have some suggested keywords. I can start typing keywords, for example, watch, and Canva will give me watches. Canva will give me a bunch of mockups related to smart watches. So that's pretty cool. Let's come back to mockups. So I'm gonna clear that search right here. I'll just click here to come back to the home page of mockups, smart mockups. So just like for the templates, you have your different tabs with technology, print, packaging, apparel, and home and living. So different subcategories as well that you can browse at your own pace. Uh, but let's start by finding something under technology. If we scroll down a little bit more, we have this second uh, section right here of this page, which is the recently used mockups. Um, so yeah, these are the latest mockups you have been using with Canva. If you use the little arrow right here, you can navigate to see more of them. Then you have trending. So I guess this is a way Canva will show you some of the most used mockups in its library. So you can see here. Again, you can scroll with a little arrow. And then you have a last section right here on the page that says new. So I love that, that Canva has kind of promised its users that they will keep adding more mockups, like via the Smart Mockups team, they will keep adding more mockups. So this is great. A total of 8,000 mockups is already a massive update. I will come back to the specifics of what there used to be, how many mockups used to be in the library up to today what this new update means in terms of volumes of mockup. I have a section of the video about this, but for now, let's continue the tour and click on one of these mockups. So just for the sake of trying, I'm gonna click on this one right here, and that is what you will get. So you'll have a preview of the mockup, then you have an indication of this is a pro mockup, a free mockup, uh, and then you have a big button right here that says select to get started with the mockup creation. So let's go ahead and click on select. And so this will lead me to this. So from here, I can decide to go and work with one of my uploads. So that is one of the images I recently uploaded to Canva. Okay, so these are all my uploads. Same thing as my upload button. Or you can use the second button right here to start your project, start your mockup directly from a Canva design. So I believe this feature is new before you could only create your mockup from an image, from a photo. So uh, being able to create your mockup from a design is quite convenient in my opinion. So let's try this one. Um, let's find the course thumbnail right here. Okay, so if I click here, what I'm seeing here is the different pages of this document. It's a presentation document. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. 
I'm going to select the first page right here and click select. So there we go. The page that I selected in my presentation document has been uploaded to the mockup and the mockup has been created with that thumbnail. Now I can adjust the image with this button right here. I can delete it and select another one or I can save the mockup. So let's click on adjust image to see what we can do here. I can move my image around. I can stretch it if I want. Okay, I can make it smaller and you have some guides here that kind of guide you to position your image. And you have this little drop down menu here to adjust your image. You can make it fit. You can fill the entire canvas like so. And as you can see, the iPad has a different resolution than my thumbnail. So this is not gonna work. I'm gonna go back to fit like so. Uh, you have stretch and custom. And then you have your alignment. You can align in different ways. You can flip your photo. But for now, I'm happy with this and I'm gonna save this to see the final result like so. So from here, I can save my mockup. I click on save. Canva is gonna work its magic. And there we go. After a couple of seconds, this is what I have. I have my mockup that has been generated with my thumbnail right here. You can see that it fits the screen. That's the actual dimension, the correct dimension of my thumbnail. And Canva gives me two options right here. I can use this image, this photo, which is going to be a flat image in a design, meaning I will be starting a new Canva project based on that image, or I can simply download the image. So let's try use this in a design to see what happens. So obviously Canva is going to ask me what type of documents do I want to create, okay? So let's say I want to create a Facebook post to promote the new course, for example, click on Facebook post. Canva is gonna open a Facebook post document containing my photo. And from here, I can stretch it to fill up my entire page. I can move it around slightly and there we go. Now I have this Facebook post ready to work with. I could download it as such. I could add some text just like work as a normal Canva document. So that is in a nutshell what the new Smart Mockups experience looks like. In my opinion, it is much more streamlined, much better than what we used to have. Now, let me take a second and show you what we used to have, okay? So for that, I'm going to import that same image, okay? So for my uploads, I'm gonna upload the course thumbnail, which is this one right here, okay? So what we used to have is with an image selected, click on edit image and find the Smart Mockups app right here, okay? So it is right here, Smart Mockups, I can see all. And I had a couple of categories like phone, laptop, greeting cards, frame, etc. So if I scroll all the way down, I can see like a good amount of mockups, but it's only like three per row right here. Uh, and Canva tells us that the, the amount of mockups available via this feature, or that is via like the editor from within the editor is 100 mockups, okay? So if you compare these 100 mockups to the 8,000 plus mockups that we have now via the new experience, it's considerably more mockups. Now, 8,000 mockups is what Canva promises for Canva Pro users. Canva free users will have access to 2,000 mockups only, only in between brackets, because compared to the 100 mockups we used to have, both free and pro, it is a very substantial upgrade. So I think this is going to make a lot of you guys happy because you have way more choices to select your mockups and to create your mockups. All right, let's come back a little bit and see the other option. Let's see what happens when I click on download instead of using this image in a design. If I click on download, Canva is going to download the image. I'm not gonna be presented with a choice of which format I would like to download this image in. Canva will automatically download the image as a PNG. You can see here uh, the .png format. So that is the format uh, that Canva will be using. And if I click here, I can open this design and you can see here my mockup uh, looks great. Let me close this. So this is pretty much like what the new experience is all about. If I recap, there are some major differences between the older Smart Mockup experience, which by the way, is still there. You can still use the edit image and then Smart Mockups from within the editor. This is not gonna go anywhere. You can still use that from within the editor, or you can use this new access to Smart Mockup via the home page. Okay, so I click on home, Again, you scroll down to Smart Mockups right here. Then you will have your landing page for Smart Mockups within Canva. From here, you can search whatever you like. 
let's say I would like a pillow, pillowcase uh, that you can put your designs on. So you search for pillows. And now you can find a bunch of different pillows right here. There's no filters, so you cannot filter the free from the pro mockups so far. Uh, maybe this is something Canva will add in the future, but yes. So you have all your pillow mockups here that you can start using. So because I'm a pro user, I have much more choice. Uh, I kind of like this one. So let's quickly uh, transform this one, use this one to create a mockup. So same process, I'm gonna have to select this mockup right here. Uh, and I'm going to use, what am I going to use this time? Maybe a Bitmoji in my uploads, like a runny Bitmoji on a pillow. That sounds good. Okay, select. Canva is going to, yep, adjust that. I'm going to adjust this image and scale it down a bit like so. Okay, I'm gonna save that. And there you go, look at this cute. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit more. I'm gonna push it up a bit, like so. Yeah, perfect. Who wouldn't like a cushion like this one? Honestly, I could sell this like a hundred bucks. <laughs> all right, so this is pretty much what this new update is all about. Also, you can create mockups either from your uploads or from your Canva designs, which is a great update because you're creating some beautiful designs and before you used to have to export that design into a PNG or JPEG and then re-upload that into Canva and then use the Smart Mockup app. Now, you don't have to go through all these steps. You can simply uh, via Smart Mockups right here on the tools, select a design instead of an upload. So that's a good feature as well, a good update, I would say. You can create mockups from your smartphone as well. So this will work as well. I'm not gonna show you right now, so to keep that tutorial short, but Canva promises us that you can create mockups from any device. So this will work on your phone as well with the Canva app via the Canva browser. All right, let me give you my final thoughts about Smart Mockups, this new update before we wrap up the tutorial. I do believe this is a major update. And I love what Canva has been doing since they acquired that company. They have been progressively integrating more and more of the Smart Mockups, I would say core business into Canva, bringing the benefits to Canva and also segmenting what they give to free users and what they give to pro users. And by creating this huge difference between the 8,000 mockups that pro users will get access to versus the 2,000 mockups that free users will get, like these 6,000 mockups could be a deal breaker for a lot of designers. That one thing that will push them to pay for Canva Pro and upgrade to Canva Pro. By all means, if you want to try Canva Pro, we have an affiliate link in the description of this video that will give you 45 days for free to try Canva Pro during which you won't be charged. So yeah, the link will be in the description. So final thoughts. I think this is a great update. Pro users will be delighted by the extended amount of uh, mockups that they will get. I love that we can now also create mockups from a Canva design, not only a photo. And I believe Canva will hold their promise of really adding new mockups regularly to their library. So we will see a bunch of new things coming. Maybe one day they will open the mockup library to Canva creators. So creators will be able to create their own mockups and that would be added to the marketplace as well. Who knows? But globally, I think this is a great update since everybody's winning. Free users, pro users, Canva is winning, smart mockups is probably winning. So yeah, the type of updates I love to see in Canva. And that is what I have about smart mockups for you guys today. I'm gonna leave another video right there about editing your photos with Canva and also our free 45 day trial for Canva Pro. That is if you want to try Canva Pro and use all the 8,000 mockups. Thank you for watching until the end and I will see you in the next video.